everybody. Welcome to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination for learning classic rock songs on the mandolin. My name is Mike DeJong, and today we're doing, well, we're doing something a little bit different. We're breaking the rules just a tad. We're not doing a classic rock song and maybe not even a classic pop song. I would call this one classic pop country, but I've seen so many pop rock cover bands do this song in bars and restaurants around here that, well, I thought this would be a good one to do a lesson on. It's Wagon Wheel by Old Crow Medicine Show. Yes, a country song, I guess, country rock song from the early 2000s, the early noughties as I call them. I'm going to show you here today how to play it. It's a fairly simple song. There's really only four chords to the entire thing but the cool part for mandolin players is that you can uh, well you can do those fiddle bits those violin solos on the mandolin remember the mandolin has the same left-handed fingering as a violin so you can replicate those violin solos pretty closely on this instrument and that's what i'm going to show you today i'll show you my versions of these solos there they won't be exactly note for note from the transcriptions once again on this website i'm kind of showing you how i play these songs you can take that for what it's worth and run with it if you want to learn the exact chords the exact notes then you can find the charts or the tabs online but i'm giving you a head start on how to take this song and go and run with it so Without any further ado, well, actually, wait a minute. Before we dive into Wagon Wheel by Old Crow Medicine Show, once again, I'd like to remind you to please hit that little subscribe button down there in the lower right corner. That little red button really helps us to continue producing videos for this website. We've produced a lot of them so far, and we hope to continue to produce many more in the future. So hit that little red subscribe button, leave a like down below if you want to, even a comment or two. And thanks very much once again for watching this channel, RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin. Now, without any further ado, as I mentioned already, let's take a look at Wagon Wheel for the Mando. All right, we've zoomed in for Wagon Wheel on Mandolin, a fun song to play, really easy song, only four chords. Learn these chords and you can head out to a jam session and play this song uh, with your friends or in public. It's really fun. Uh, so here are the chords. I'll just play the little introduction and, well, I'll play the entire song, basically, all of the chords here for you. It's two, two separate parts, though. So the first part is... Second part... sharp minor D A E D so that's it basically it's the four chords it's an A chord an E chord an F sharp minor chord and a D and again like with all of my pop rock songs or most of them I'm playing these chords down um, at the base of the neck, the base of the fretboard there, you know, what you call on guitar, I guess, the uh, the country campfire chords, the open chords, but I find for many of these pop rock songs, they work really nicely, giving you a lot of those ringing open notes as opposed to maybe playing bluegrass or jazz, where you're playing a lot of closed chords and you need that really tight rhythm. Well, here, you can have those nice open chords, right? Ringing out while you're playing the song. So I play the A chord here, standard A chord right here, second fret of the G string, second fret of the D. Then I go down to this E voicing, which is first fret on the G, second fret on the D, second fret on the A, right? Then I go to an F sharp minor. So this is a really nice chord here. It's at the 6th fret of the G string, and then the 4th fret of the D string. That's actually your root, the F sharp. Open A, then another F sharp up here, 2nd fret of the E string, another root note. So there's an F sharp minor chord. All right, and then finally your D chord, which most people should know, and I play it down here at the 2nd fret and the 2nd fret on the E, those open strings. Right, so once again, the four chords for Wagon Wheel, A, E, F sharp minor, to D. So the second part of the verse, 
he uh, he he omits the F sharp minor, so he just goes from A to E to D. And you can throw in one of those little D add nine voicings, which is just pulling this finger off the E string. Right, it gives you that nice little add nine sound. So once again, the verses are like this. And that's all you need to know to play Wagon Wheel from start to finish. Now, if you want to get a little more fancy, you can add some of those violin or fiddle fills that they play in this song. I'm going to show you sort of my interpretation here of what I do. Once again, as I've mentioned before, I'm not uh, teaching you how to play these songs verbatim. I'm not teaching you note for note on the solo parts. I will do that. I will try to do that mainly for riffs and chords, but for solos and improvised parts in these songs, really it's up to you to, uh, to take what I show you and run with it. So I'm going to show you a cool little improvisation that will work over those, those wagon wheel chords in the key of A. And uh, yeah, you should be able to get them down fairly easily on the mandolin. I did. The first little lick goes... little bluegrass inspired lick there for you in this song. You can throw in uh, little bluegrassy licks and really sound good. All of these notes coming from the key of A, right? We're playing in A. So here's your first little lick and it, that's right out of the bluegrass songbook right there from the flatted third to the natural third in the key of A, right? So we're on the A string. You go from the third fret here, which is a C note to a C sharp, so, and then I take it down to the A like that, so, all right, so that's pretty easy to start off with, that little bluegrassy lick at the beginning, all right, so from there, what do I do? Well, I go, so, so after that, four, two, open two on the A string, I jump down to the F sharp note here on the D string, right? Here you go once again. Right, isn't that nice? And then you can go right all the way down to the D note. So what am I doing there? Well, from the second fret on the A string, open, right? F sharp, open D. So, so once again, so far we have right. And what do I do after that? Well, so there I'm doing kind of a pull offy lick, which is utilizing those open strings. So F sharp. F sharp to D and B to A, right? F sharp is here once again. So, and that's a nice little walk up lick to get you back to the sort of the beginning of that improvised pattern. So, once again, the pattern that we have so far is. So, there I just went. Okay, so we're climbing up on the A string now from that, the hammer on. So I just drop down to the B and then up to the high E and keep hitting that from the seventh to the fourth fret. And then I jump all the way up to the F sharp on the high E string. Watch again. What am I doing there? Well, from the F sharp, 
It's just a nice little pattern that goes F sharp, E, C sharp. So F sharp, two, open, four. Right, so you could end the pattern there for the first solo in the song from back to the A note on an A chord. But the end part, the end solo goes up higher. So I'll show you the extended solo that goes near the end of the song that you could do, that I do, that you could take from. So once again, from the beginning of the solo part is And from there, I climb up to the A, the high A, which is right here, so. Right? So from the high A, you can put in some of these cool little parts. You can go. Right, what did I do there? Well, from, I just, Use the A, open E, B to C sharp here. Just climbing up that A scale, right? So. Right? And then all the way up here to a high E, which is at the 12th fret. What did I do there? Well, from the E on the 12th fret, down to here, which is the ninth fret, the C sharp, to the B on the 12th, and then down to the A, which is the 12th fret of the A string. So that's a cool little sort of country bluegrassy lick. Right? And then I go, right? So from the E note here, which is the seventh fret of the A string, to the F sharp note here, which is the ninth fret of the A string, and then back up to the 12th fret of the A string, which is your A note. All right, so one more time. And then I hit the... So that was kind of faster off the end. So after I do that, then I do a little F sharp to A. And I'm catching that E, I'm sorry, I'm catching that B, which is here on the seventh fret. So, and just the, so you remember we walked up from the A to the B to the C sharp? Well, here I'm, I'm going down. C sharp, B to A, and ending on this F sharp lick. And then you can put in a little, little sort of bluegrassy lick there where you're just going open one, two, open one, two. And then just down to the A. So one more time, the entire solo. There you go, there's some improvisation ideas, some solo ideas for Wagon Wheel based upon some of the fiddle parts in the original song. Have fun with it! And that was Wagon Wheel for the mandolin, a really fun song to play, very simple song really. There's only four chords throughout the entire tune, but those fiddle solos can really work nicely on the mando if you, well, if you learn them, and hopefully you did from today's tutorial. Thanks again for uh, tuning in and subscribing to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin. If you haven't subscribed already, if you're new here, thanks very much for watching. And please hit that little red subscribe button down in the lower right corner. Once again, helps me to continue producing videos on this channel for you in the future. Once again, thanks for tuning in to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin. My name is Mike Dijon. 
in Tokyo.